McHale was certainly expected, but not the explosion of Scott Wedman, who was a perfect 11 for 11 from the field off the bench. Kareem's face told it all, an embarrassing Memorial Day massacre. But in game two, the Lakers dug down deep and were determined to erase that game one. And Kareem scored 30 points and had 17 rebounds. Michael Cooper chipped in off the bench for 22, and it was Larry Bird who had the sour taste. The Lakers rallied to win, giving them a key split, led the Lakers with 29. At the same time, the Lakers served notice they wouldn't be pushed around. They answered the Celtics' more physical style, and this is what happened. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, another record, most playoff points in history, and the Lakers took a 2-1 series lead. Then came the most dramatic finish in last year's title series. Bird, double, Dennis Johnson, two seconds. It's good, the game is over. Johnson, who sparked the Lakers, who perhaps were not to be denied this time. They were out to get that huge monkey off their backs, and they did it with a vengeance. And while Larry Bird was never 100% for the series, the Lakers truly earned this one and took a 3-2 series lead going to Boston. Never before had the Celtics lost a world title at home. In fact, they had beaten the Lakers eight straight times in championship history until this day. And Kevin McHale's expression showed it all. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar won it. MVP. The Lakers were world champions.